Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Hello, sweet Tamea. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Give it a second before we start. I'm so excited about today because we're going back to the basics. <laughs> we are going back to the basics. Oh, baby. Hi, sweet Andrea. Hi, Tamea. Welcome, everybody, as you're joining. Hi, my friends. Um, yeah. So I think you guys know, like, it's funny. I started the No Judgment Diet, what? The ver my own personal version of it seven or eight years ago. And um, now it's turned into sort of a movement, but in the course of, you know, the no judgment diet originated around how many people actually judge their bodies, how many people judge how they feel about their bodies, how many people like get into crank about their bodies, how many people obsess about food. And so the no judgment diet was really a way to give people a another choice to discover that they're not as screwed up as they think they are. So those of you watching that think you need to go on another diet, it's not about a diet. You're not as screwed up that you think you need to like watch your weight. Now there is about being in communion with your body, which is being the best version of you with your body you can be, right? But diets tend to cut off your awareness and they tend to cut off your judgment. And so as the no judgment diet grew, it grew into parenting and it grew into building a business and becoming an entrepreneur. And it grew into like getting out of judgment changes your life, right? But today I wanted to go back to the basics and the basics are, yay, sweet Wendy, welcome. Hi, everybody, as you're joining. Hello, Diana. Hello, Kathleen. Oh, my goodness. So you guys are amazing. Um, so one of the things, and hello to my friends watching over here. <laughs> you get me in two places. Um, but one of the things that I've really been looking at as I'm writing, uh, not one book, but two books, <laughs> Came two books. Um, one should be, um, we're hopefully sending to the publishers very, very, very soon. It's so exciting. So, um, but as I've been looking at the basics of the body, we're given this amazing body and it has so many capacities. Like the fact that your body can regenerate every single molecule, every single inch, every single high sweet Carol, every single piece, your body literally can regenerate itself every seven years. What? Your kidneys can regenerate itself, your blood, like every single thing in your body. That's a miracle in itself. And so it doesn't make any sense that if we have the capacity to generate and regenerate our bodies every seven years, that we should have disease for a long time, right? We should be able to change it. Well, one of the reasons why we have trouble changing things, so whether you struggle with your weight, whether you struggle with um, your body shape or your age or your height or your butt size or like your skin color, or maybe you're in constant pain in your body and you've been in pain for 20 years. Maybe you have severe migraines. Maybe you deal with headaches. Maybe you deal with body insecurities. Like all of those things, and I, I, I caution to say myself, say this, but almost, you can change almost anything, including height, okay? And you can change it by here but what we're taught when we're born in a body we're taught at a certain age eight and beyond we're taught that 
we have to judge what we think is wrong in order to change. I'm going to say that again. So if you think about it, the only reason you want to lose weight is because you judge that you need to lose weight. You judge that you're fat or you judge that you're not in shape or you judge that you've let yourself go or like every single thing that we do with the body, we've been taught in this reality to judge it first. Now the problem, and this is why it's called the no judgment diet, the problem with judging it first is judgment is solid judgment is dense, judgment does not change easily, and when you're judging you and buying judgment, so when you buy that you, so I'll give an example, right? But when you're buying judgment, you cannot be aware of what's required to create the change. I'm gonna say that again. When you're buying judgment, you cannot be aware of what's required to create the change kind of crazy, right? And so so I'll give you an example in my life, right? My my most judgeable body part is my butt and the backs of my thighs, right? And for years I judged that I had cellulite. Now, it's really funny. I take pictures and some of you have seen some of my nude pictures. Some of you have seen, you know, pictures that I post on Instagram. Um, you know, do I have a little like dimple here and there? Yeah. But what I thought and judged to be real never shows up on a camera, never shows up. It only shows up in my mind when I am, I'm going to say this, addicted to judgment. So weight and body shape and change, it, it's not from what we eat, what we eat plays a role. It's not how much we exercise, what we ex what, how much we exercise and how we move our bodies and how we choose to take care of our health plays a role. But I know people who eat like rabbits, carrots and celery. I used to be one of them and are 10 pounds heavier or 20 pounds heavier or 50 pounds heavier. Right, and I know people who eat McDonald's and French fries and cheeseburgers and whatever they want, and they are small. So it really isn't about the food, it's our addiction to the judgment that prevents the change, right? Kind of crazy, you guys getting this? So how many of you can recognize, right? Thanks for the thumbs up, I love it. So how many of you can recognize that perhaps in your world, you have spent the good majority of your life addicted to the judgment? So I'm gonna give an example. This week, actually, I went through a massive change. It was really uncomfortable, and I made a really big life decision. And, um, and business decision and kind of like, oh my God, and in a good way, right? Like good things are happening. Good things are coming our way. And, um, but in the ease of that choice and how everything showed up, there was no, there was no longer something to judge. There was no longer something to fight against. There was no longer something to make myself wrong for. It was so easy that I was so uncomfortable, I tried finding things that were wrong with me. It was fascinating. So when I had the space of no judgment, nothing wrong, nothing to fix, nowhere to go, nowhere to do, right. So Cynthia says on here, my whole life I've been addicted to judgment. Nowadays, even more towards myself. Well, here's the thing, Cynthia, when you get aware that you've been judging you for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, however you know long you've been judging you, all of a sudden you get aware of all the other judgments that you've been hiding behind your main judgment. So here's my belief, and you guys can disagree or agree with me, or just go, what's true for you, right? What's true will make you feel light. What's not true will make you feel heavy. That comes from Access Consciousness, and No Judgment Diet is a specialty class within Access Consciousness. And so we use tools, what? To empower you to know that you know, but to empower you to know that your body knows. That's what the ju no judgment diet is all about. But when you start to like get aware of, like I'll give an example, the place I judge myself the most, my body, my butt, my thighs, my, you name it. 
Now, a lot of people look at my body and go, Catherine, you don't really have a lot to judge. I'm like, says you, right? I look at a supermodel. I'm like, to the supermodel, you don't really have a lot to judge. And the, and the supermodel goes, says you. We all have places of insecurity that we judge. So Pia says, can it be the other way around? I look older, bigger, et cetera, on pictures than in real life. I know a lot of people who do the no judgment diet and in person, in the mirror, they're awesome. In pictures, they're like, oh my God, is that what I look like? I don't, yes. So it can totally be the opposite. It can totally be the opposite. It just depends on the program that you came in with. I came in looking in the mirror and thinking that what I saw in the mirror was a 150 pound extra pound version of myself. Yeah. And so, so we come in addicted to judgment. So we start judging ourselves. For me, it was my body. And when I started to do the no judgment diet for personal reasons, it was not a business. It was not a movement. It was not anything. I started to judge my body. And I started to go, oh my God, for 20 years I've been judging my body. I've spent over $250,000 on diets and gimmicks and psychologists and like therapies and flying to South America and hanging out with shamans in the jungles of, of South America and like doing seances and meditation and prayer and like weird gimmicks and weird green teas and pills. And like if it promised that I would lose weight, I freaking bought it. I was the girl who was eating pizza at three in the morning, depressed and crying myself to not sleep because I couldn't sleep while flipping through the channels and looking at infomercials to see if I could buy something. So I'm the girl that bought like the thigh master at two in the morning on an infomercial. I bought like the health rider at three in the morning on an infomercial. The health rider was like a $500 gimmick. I have bought so many freaking gimmicks going, this is going to be the answer. And my friends, I'm here to tell you nothing outside of you is the answer. Nothing outside of you is the answer. Right. So Jamie says, OMG, my creation of my business slowed down when addiction to judgment healed. I just got that awareness. Awesome. Yeah. Right. And so, um, when addiction, so you might need to say more. That's awesome. So my creation of my business slowed down when addiction to judgment. Well, when your addiction to judgment heals, yeah, so people might not be able to recognize you because you no longer have judgment. So you just have to let them know you're still here. You're a new person. You're here to invite them still to play with you. So there's a lot of different things that could be going on, Jamie, with your business. And it's really easy to reinstate your business. And look, like anything in life, there are seasons right? There are seasons of success. There are seasons of slowdown. There are seasons of growth. There are seasons of personal healing or like accessing more of you. We all have seasons, right? Wendy says addicted to judgment. So it wasn't about the food, right? And it wasn't about my body. But as soon as I did the no judgment diet and I started doing it for myself, I thought that the only thing I judged in my life was my body. Well, as soon as I started to let go of the judgments that I had of my body, all the other judgments I've had started to pop to the surface. And so I'm here to tell you, if you think you're like, oh, I just need to fix this, the no judgment diet, it's not about getting you into a worse place. It's getting you to recognize that if you're judging you, that might be in the way of why you haven't actualized the relationship or why you haven't had success yet in business or why you lack the confidence. Like there's so many things, but what I will tell you is when you start to let go of judgments, it gets uncomfortable because all of a sudden you become more aware. But what the beauty of it is, is what when you become more aware and you let go of your judgments, you start to have the space to create your life. So if you guys agree with me, hearts or thumbs up, right? And can you imagine if you weren't spending two to four to eight hours a day secretly judging you? I bet if you spend a day paying attention to how much you judge you, you would be shocked. You would be shocked how much you actually judge you. Okay. And so when you become aware of how much you actually judge you and you start to let go of those judgments, 
all of a sudden you have hours in your day for your gift, for your beauty, for space, for listening to your awarenesses, and all of a sudden you can begin to create your life. So why I'm fascinated with the no judgment diet is that I had no idea how much my judgments of my body and food literally stopped me from living. I was living, living in a tiny little cycle that I pretended was making me happy, <laughs> was not happy, okay? And so, you know, what, what I realized is as I began to let go of my judgments, I had all of this space to create a business. And in less than 10 months, started making over six figures, traveling the world with an infant I was nursing and a husband who had quit his job. So, so why I'm so passionate about the no judgment diet is because when you begin to recognize that judgment is a choice, judgment is not real, judgment is a lie, then you start to have space to create your life. Yeah, I love this. So Suzanne says, when I was 16 years, I decided to be normal and judge and come to conclusion, not my brightest choice. Well, the beauty is, Suzanne, you can go back in time energetically and ask to undo that choice because the body remembers that memory. So all you need to do is ask the body because your, your body is so intelligent, is more intelligent than your mind because you will get in the way right? What energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be, this is what Sheena's is writing, um, to be clear from addiction to judgment with ease. That's a great question to ask Sheena. So my friends, I just wanted to pop on here and I'm going to try and kind of bring the no judgment diet back to basics. We are getting ready to send the book one of the first book to the publishers. So exciting. We are getting ready to do a world tour all over the world. So exciting. The four and a half day no judgment diet live events. My friends, it is not what you think. You will walk away with a sense of you and a sense of the future you want to create and a sense of space and a sense of peace in your world that you never thought possible. So um, if this conversation inspired you and you know somebody who needs this, to hear this message, leave a comment on how this impacted you and maybe share it, maybe tag a friend. Um, the more the merrier, my friends, because our target here at No Judgment Diet is what would it be like if 10 million people we're out of judgment with their bodies. And that's just the start. My, my target is the whole world, but I might have to, I might have to hope and dream for a long time. So my friends, you're magical. You're amazing. I adore you for coming and joining. And if this conversation sparked you, inspired you, leave a comment, um, share it with your friends, and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow for another round of No Judgment Diet. Bye for now. See you soon. Bye, my friends.